In these questions, we need to add a multiple of 10 to a three-digit number. Remember, a multiple of 10 is a number in the 10 times table, so a number that ends in a zero. First, we have 242 plus 60. Now, because we're adding a multiple of 10, we can highlight our tens digits. We have four tens, and we need to add six tens. But four plus six is 10, and we can't write 10 in our tens place because we can only have one digit in each place value. So that means our hundreds digit will change as well, because remember, when we get 10 tens, we've made an extra hundred. So what we can do is work out 24 plus six. That's 30, so the digits we've highlighted will change to a three and a zero, and the ones digit stays the same because we're not adding any ones. So that gives us 302. 24 plus 6 is 30, and the two ones stays the same. Now, 458 plus 70. Highlighting our tens digit, 5 plus 7 will give us 12, but that's a two digit number, so instead we can work out 45 plus 7. That's 52, so our answer is 528, because 45 plus 7 is 52, and the 8 ones stays the same because we're not adding any ones. Now, 865 plus 80. Now, 6 plus 8 is 14, but if we have 14 tens, we'll make an extra 100. So we look at our hundreds and tens digits together. 86 plus 8 is 94. So our answer is 945 because our ones digit stays the same. Finally, we have 194 plus 90. 9 plus 9 is 18. So 19 plus 9 is 28. So we change our hundreds digit to a 2 and our tens digit to an 8. The ones digit stays the same, so we get 284. Now let's take a closer look at these questions. First, we started with 242, so that's two hundreds, four tens, and two ones. We were adding 60, so that's adding six tens. If we add one, two, three, four, five, six tens, we now have 10 tens, and we regroup those 10 tens into one extra hundred. So now we have three hundreds, no tens, and two ones. So that's why our answer is 302. And now you can see why working out 24 plus six, and then keeping the ones digit the same, gave us our answer. Then we started with 458. So there's four hundreds, five tens, and eight ones. Adding 70 means adding seven tens. We can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, but that gives us 12 tens altogether. Five plus seven is 12, but if we have 12 tens, we need to take 10 of those tens and regroup them into an extra hundred. So that's why our hundreds digit goes from a four to a five, so our hundreds digit increases by one because adding our tens gave us a two digit answer. Now let's look at 365, so three hundreds, six tens, five ones, and we need to add eight tens. We can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now six plus eight is 14, and we have 14 tens. But we can't write 14 as our tens digit because when we have 10 tens, we regroup those into an extra hundred. So that's why we have four hundreds, four tens, and we still have five ones in our answer. And then our last question was 194 plus 90. If we add nine tens, we can add one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens, 
And we now have 18 tens, because 9 plus 9 is 18. But when we get 10 tens, again, we regroup those. So that's why in our answer, we have two hundreds and eight tens. We can also show the addition using place value counters. So here we start with 242 and we need to add six tens. Doing that gives us 10 tens, but when we have 10 tens, we need to regroup. So that's why in our answer, we have three hundreds, no tens and two ones. Then we started with 458 and needed to add seven tens. Now we can add five tens, regroup, and then so that we've added seven, we've added five already. So if we add two more tens, that seven tens added all together, and we now have five hundreds and two tens in our answer. Now we start with 365 and we need to add eight tens. We can add one, two, three, four, then regroup, then add five, six, seven, eight, and that leaves us with 445. And finally, we started with 194, and we were adding nine tens. So we can add one ten, exchange, then because we've added one ten, but need to add 9, we need to add 8 more tens, and that gives us 284 as our answer. So you can see why, because adding the tens means we'll need to exchange, because 9 plus 9 is 18, and if it's 10 or more, we need to exchange, what we do is highlight our hundreds digit as well. Then we can just take our hundreds and tens together, and then leave the ones digit the same.